Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where every week I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week I'm going to do some science magic tricks with candles. Let's check it out. All of this week's demonstrations involve using open flames, so make sure and use caution and have an adult help you if you're doing these at home. When you light a candle, it is the wick, the top part of the candle, that you see the flame on. What happens when you hold the flame to the top of a candle is that you melt the first bit of wax and turn it into a liquid. This liquid wax gets pulled up the wick and the heat turns it into wax vapour and it is the wax vapour that is burning. When you blow out a candle, you see this white smoke rise up from it. That is wax vapour that is rising up from the candle. We are going to see if we can light this candle without actually touching the wick with the flame. Now let's watch that again in slow motion. you see that the flame does not touch the wick, but the heat from the flame travels down the wax vapour and ignites the candle again. For our next demonstration, we're going to see what happens when you've got two candles standing next to each other and one of them gets blown out. And you'll notice there, as soon as we blow out the candle on the left, the wax vapour that comes off the candle on the left gets immediately relit by the candle on the right. This is why it is really difficult to blow out a single candle when it's got other candles standing very close to it. For the final demonstration this week, we're going to make a candle seesaw. For this, you want two candles, which are about the same size. You want to put them end to end, so the wicks are at the opposite end from each other and you're going to tape the candles together. Then you want to take a sewing needle and push it through in between the two candles where they come together. Then you're going to take your candles and you're going to use the sewing needle to balance the candles between two glasses so they're sitting nice and level. And now we're going to light one candle and then shortly after that we're going to light the other candle We'll see what happens with our seesaw. The candles started off the same weight as each other and that's why they were perfectly balanced. But as they burn, wax drips off the candles and that makes one candle lighter than the other. So as the wax drips off the candle on the right, it is then lighter than the candle on the left, so it gets lifted up into the air. But then wax drips off the candle on the left and it then makes it lighter, so it lifts back up again. Just like shifting the weights on a seesaw in the playground. Now we're going to see what happens with our seesaw when you use one candle which is much smaller than the other. You'll notice when I try to balance them, the heavy candle just pulls down the way and that I can't get them to sit across the way like I did with the last seesaw. But let's light the candles and see what happens. You'll notice that the heavier candle lost a lot of wax very quickly and now the two candles, they've gone past balancing point and now we're starting to get the seesaw 
as they evened up and now each one of them is going to lose some wax and the seesaw will start swinging from side to side. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. Hit the like button and you can subscribe to the channel using the button in the corner of the video. I've also put a link here to a playlist of all the STEM demonstrations that I've done so far. This has been STEM with Mr N, exploring science magic with candles.